Hey everybody, the 1.6 update is about to drop. And luckily for me, just as I finished making a seven minute long video with all of my predictions, they dropped the trailer and notes about the update. So I thought I would do a frame by frame analysis of that trailer and go over all of the notes at the beginning of this video. But I'll still include my original video after this part because there are still some really interesting and kind of funny theories I have plus a little bit about the flower bug that they're fixing. So if you're wondering why this video is so long, that's why. Okay, so first off, this update should be dropping Wednesday night for most people. So honestly, around like 24 hours from now, it, it could drop. But before we break down the whole trailer, let's read the notes real quick. In general, the biggest parts of this update include the cabin upgrades, the imagination celebration, and the Merry Meadows expansion. So first up, the content update. Upgrade your cabins with a huge makeover and get excited for the imagination celebration in Hello Kitty Island Adventure. So I'm thinking the imagination celebration is the next big event. The cabin upgrades, Aquafaller, and Merry Meadow expansions unlock on April 4th. And the imagination celebration begins on April 15th. So the wording of this seems like we won't be able to play like all of the new update stuff right away like we normally have in the past updates, but we may have to wait until reset on the morning of the 4th of April, which is not the worst thing in the world, but that's what it seems like so far. Cabin upgrades. Are you ready for the biggest cabin makeover ever? Now you can upgrade your cabins to make room for up to six visitors. This means we can put up to six visitors in one cabin. That's honestly so exciting. A brand new batch of quests and stories celebrate new and old friendships. Throw an enchanting tea party, find the perfect slumber party spot, and more. I'm thinking we're gonna get more island spirit quests. Hear ye, hear ye. Princess Hello Kitty of the Kingdom of Friendship invites you and all her friends to the imagination celebration. Find the mystic stones before the spooky Queen Karomi does and be richly rewarded. The way this sounds, I'm really excited to see Karomi being her spooky self and acting as sort of like an antagonist for this event. A mysterious foundation awaits beneath the waves. But what does it do? Carefully repair the aquafaller to bring back rain and watch Friendship Island spring to life in new ways. I'm thinking this is going to help us water all of our plants which will make it so convenient. Merry Meadow has even more to discover. Magic beanstalks guide the way to the meadow's upper glades, revealing new treasures and secret rooms. Here's a tip. You'll want to dust off those puzzle solving skills. And by the sound of this, more giant beanstalks means it'll probably take a few days to actually get up there. And if you watch the second part of this video, you'll see where I talk about all of the hints from the puzzle rooms from the Discord. And lastly, New visitors are here. Hello Kitty's mom and dad have finally arrived for a sweet vacation with the family. Poco and Chico will also be visiting and can't wait to stop by and say hello to you and Wish Me Mel. So Poco and Chico are characters in the sort of Wish Me Mel group. And now we know a lot about the notes. Let's look at the trailer and see what we can find. The first thing we see is a bunch of the characters gathered around the resort plaza with one of the mystic stones from the Imagination Celebration. Plus Hello Kitty, My Melody, and Karomi in cute little princess outfits. Plus this main character with a new sort of wizard hat. I'm thinking these are the stones we have to collect for this event. Then we see the inventory of the clothing with some of the princess hat colors and a couple of the wizard colors. Plus that robe. And now we see this character collecting the mystic stones. And then we see this character with the princess dress, also collecting a mystic stone. Then it fades into, I'm assuming on the castles in the Merry Meadow, with a new character wearing a knight outfit. Then we go underwater to see the aquafaller. I think this is what's going to make it rain on the island. Then we can see it actually raining, plus the most adorable rain hat and rain jacket I've ever seen. I'm really hoping the rain gives us some good ASMR vibes, you feel? Then the next thing we see is one of the visitor cabins upgrading different sizes and shapes. I'm guessing how many rooms you add will change the appearance from the outside. So like one extra room versus two extra rooms. 
and then we see one in the spooky swamp doing the same. And just like the notes said, we'll have up to six visitors per one cabin. That's pretty awesome. And now we see the, on the cloud islands. I know this is absolutely perfect for all of Cinnamon Roll's friends. So I'm thinking this is how it looks like when you walk inside of a visitor cabin that you upgrade. So there might be sort of like a lobby with rooms A, B, and C. So now we see some new furniture. I'm guessing from the Imagination Celebration. Plus another view of that knight costume. Probably also from that event. Now as this player goes into room B, they're going to show us some new wallpapers. And another rain hat. This time it's red. I really like that window over there. Those bay windows with the window seat. Now in room C, we get a little glimpse of this wallpaper with the cute little rubber ducky on it that matches that rain outfit we saw earlier in the trailer. And I love this photo. This is really adorable. Knowing that Kuromi is sort of going to be like the evil one in this event. I think that's really silly. Did you notice anything different? That's all I have about the trailer and the notes. So stay tuned for my original video with all of my wacky predictions. The 1.6 update is already here. Well, not here here, but in a couple of days. Before I get into all of this, I've been on a bit of an accidental hiatus because I've been just extremely burnt out with work and just overall overwhelmed with life. But it was spring break last week. I spent the whole week sleeping, trying to deal with my mental health and stuff. Is it working? Who knows? Not yet, but I'm back at work and everything. The update's coming out this week and I'm just gonna try my hardest to keep up with the 1.6 update. So in this video, I'm going to give an update on all of the news we have about the 1.6 update and talk a bit more about flower breeding. I was planning to make a second big video about flower breeding because the literal day I uploaded the first one, I figured out how to crossbreed colors among the different breeds of flowers. It is super easy, but then I just realized there was a huge bug with breeding the secondary crossbreed colors together. So for example, with pestimums, if you get a yellow one, which is a secondary color crossbred from another species, you can't breed that yellow penstemum with a white penstemum to get cream or with the yellow to get lime even though this should be the case. This was a big enough bug that I just did not want to make a video about this process because the information would be outdated very quickly. But in short, to get new colors from different types of flowers, you need the color you want to have a gradient on it and then put that gradient colored flower next to the species of flower you want to adapt that color. Example, put a yellow gradient tulia next to a white penstemum which is the default color. And you will then have a chance of getting a yellow penstemum to spawn it nearby. I hope that makes sense, but in a week or so, I'll make that big video. Okay, now onto the 1.6 Cabins and Castles update. We have been absolutely blessed by one of the developers, Kieran, for posting so many little sneak peeks on the Discord. He works on these puzzle rooms and he basically confirmed many, many more puzzle rooms in this update. And I am so excited. He specifically said there will be a special treat for 1.6, and we should not expect it to be easy. So make sure to go check back here for a guide if you're ever stumped with one. My guess is it's going to be sort of like a Red Hot ruin situation with the castles, where hopefully inside of the castles will have a lot of puzzles. We don't know for sure what this means, but I would make a good bet that these castles will be in the Merry Meadows. Because don't most of these areas look like they could lead into a castle? They already remind me of a fairy tale with the beanstalk and everything. We just need some castles now. And my personal prediction is that we will have many more puzzles inside of the castle. Maybe it was part of an old amusement park attraction, but also maybe it was there long, long before. And it is yet another island mystery. Maybe the little twin stars will know. Or maybe the island spirit will make us go there to the castles to find something. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But also with the title, Cabins and Castles, we know there will be some sort of changes to how the cabins work. We have been getting hints over the past few months from Chelsea on Discord, but we don't know all of the specifics quite yet. We are pretty sure it has to do with making visitors switching cabins easier than it is now. It seems like we will hopefully be able to just pack them up and switch which cabins they are in 
just automatically. But there are also people theorizing that maybe we will be able to put multiple visitors in each cabin, or even something better, like a hotel or resort where many visitors can be placed at once. Maybe even the cabins can change size, shape, how many rooms there are inside a cabin. Who knows? These are just predictions, so take them all with a grain of salt. Another change we know that is going to happen is that a plan to make it easier to water flowers. Chelsea said it is cute. What do you think that is? And another thing that has been mentioned a couple of times in the Discord is that having updated in different styles for the mermaid outfit. Think like a dolphin or an orca. I think it'll be really cute. I'm also hoping it comes in with this update. It might not though. So we will have to wait and see, but I bet it will come this summer. So most of those so far are things that have been mentioned in the Discord and theories, but now for things that we know confirmed. The bug fix for the tertiary color breeding that I mentioned before. This is the biggest fix I am looking forward to because this will open up being able to breed all of the secondary colors together regardless of if it is a default, secondary, or third gen. So like purple and white will finally make lilac and etc. We'll also be able to make magenta, indigo, and stuff like that. Colors we have not been able to make before, we will be able to make. I'll make a video on this as soon as it's fixed and all the combos are confirmed. Also, I'm pretty sure we're getting more improvements to the organization and labeling of flowers in the inventory. I don't know all the details of this yet, but we are expecting the ability for flowers to stack in your inventory, like the other items we can get. Flowers with colors written on the labels will also be added to help with the confusion of the specific color names from the master palette. And in general, for the inventory updates, I am expecting at least a couple more changes to help with the organization. It seems like they are planning to keep doing this for the next few updates, just like they did last time by adding new tabs and such. It's also a great thing to assume that we're going to get new friendship levels for Wish Me Mel. Maybe we'll finally get her max level, which means we'll get her character hat and her three heart gift unlocked. I also think it's a good bet to think that we are getting new visitors because each update like this, we usually get a couple of new ones. Another prediction I have is that the island spirit will finally be ready to see Top Hat and big challenges again. Maybe this is what will actually lead us to the castles and the merry meadows. The island spirit or the little twin stars might make us. And maybe these castles were here long ago before Top Hat and big challenges came. And only the island spirit knows about them, maybe. And there is something inside of them we need to get to help fully restore Friendship Island? I don't know, that's just a theory though. I still have so many, many more questions about why the little twin stars were sent here to help us and why they made us come to the island and why they were told not to interfere and who sent them. Also, did they really create Top Hat? Where are Top Hat's feet? Regardless, my general prediction is that we will be getting more quests about healing their friendship. And honestly, along the lines of this in the lore, where is Milk? Will Milk be here yet? I literally don't know. If you have been doing all of the Cafe Cinnamon quests, you'll know what I'm talking about. Is he in the castle? Is the castle Shukuru Kingdom? I could make a whole video on the Sanrio lore of this. Would you be interested in something like that? Let me know. And if we don't get him this time, I am predicting we will have another type of quest that has Sinwen Roll asking this question. What do you think's going to be in the update? Let me know. See you on the other side.